the model minority or the so-called model minority keeps doing unmodel minority like behavior or at least engaging in it. So this is my first fentanyl story of 2023 and what a way to kick it off. So this man's name is Andrew Dirty and this guy has been sentenced to 40 years in prison because he got caught with nearly 6,000 fentanyl pills. You can only imagine what he was about to do with those pills. Now, these are fentanyl pills, pill forms, not the, the powdery form of it. So I can only imagine what was going to happen or what he was going to do. But there's going to be one thing I'm going to look for in this article to see how they report this story. If they don't, I'm going to acknowledge it. A 27-year-old Greeley man was sentenced to four decades behind bars after he sold fentanyl to undercover officers. Investigators also intercepted three postal packages addressed to Andrew Dirty during the investigation. The packages delivered from California contain more fentanyl. In total, about 5,800. 5,800 fentanyl pills were seized during the Well County Drug Task Force investigation. This was a conservative count, Chief Deputy District Attorney Michael Perig Periglia told the judge during the sentencing hearing per a press release from the DA's office. Any one of those pills could have killed someone. Bottom line, he made a profit off destroying the people's, other people's lives, and we won't tolerate this type of behavior in our community. Dirty pleaded guilty to two counts of felony fentanyl distribution in October. Well, District Court Judge Timothy Kearns sentenced Dirty to 40 years in the Colorado Corrections Department of Corrections on December 21st. So this article did not mention what I thought they were going to mention, but I'll mention it for them. Why didn't they say that this right here could have slaughtered millions of people. The reason why I asked that question is because whenever the distributor of the of fentanyl, no matter what form it comes in, is or just happens to be black, they will make sure to go above and beyond and say how this could have wiped out millions of people or this could have wiped out damn near population. They always over exaggerate the number. I know this because Whenever I talk about it, they always say that every single time when it comes to black distributors, it might slip in when the distributor is PC, but when it comes to if the person is black, they will always throw that in there. I think the last time I talked about it, when it came to black people who was distributing, I think it was in New York and this was a while ago. I think this might've been pre woo it slightly before pre woo it. It might've been around that time. And I remember them saying how they could have wiped out millions of New Yorkers with this because, you know, they always got to over exaggerate the numbers to make it seem like the next genocidal wave is going to be at the hands or at the fault of black people. But they didn't say it here with him. Now, this guy had nearly six thousand fentanyl pills that he was distributing. Luckily. It was undercover cops that was getting a hold of it. Um, because if this was regular people, he probably would have caused another genocidal wave. That's a lot of people. It makes you wonder how much one pill would have the effect on the human body. But I'm willing to bet that whoever was to take these pills wasn't taking just one. It's almost like that print. I think, isn't that the Pringles commercial the, back in the day? You can't have just one. I'm sure that's how they would have treated this, these fentanyl pills. And I wonder how big the pills were. Were they tiny or were they them big horse pills? Because they were them big horse pills. That's probably enough to give you a high right there. But then again, they said it doesn't take much when it comes to fentanyl. Just the contact of it alone will get you high and probably cause you to overdose. We've seen that happen time and time again, and we've seen it be discussed time and time again on here on my channel. Lisa has talked about it on her channel and any of the story that we probably were never able to get a hold of when it comes to a topic like this as a form of discussion. Now, you see the identity of this man. You can see what his ethnicity is. Uh, I wonder what the AAPI has to say about this. 
Because I'm almost guaranteeing that if this person had been black, I can almost tell or guarantee what the narrative would have been. Because, you know, they have to try to find a way to make black people, especially black men, the face of all kinds of levels of degeneracy. And you can't really get no more degenerate where you can. But one form of it is definitely being a drug dealer. So that up to me is of no surprise. Well, I'm glad that they said he was sentenced to 40 years and not up to 40 years. So he got that 40 years right down the middle. Now, something tells me he probably would have got life if even one person would have gotten a hold of those fentanyl pills and they would have overdosed and died. I will say this when it came to them saying that they were going to go after the people that was distributing these narcotics or these opioids, that they would come down and crack down on them harshly. I have to admit they actually, in a way, kept their word about that because every story that I've done when it came to people who were distributing these type of drugs have gotten some harsh sentences. I think his so far that I've seen actually was the harshest. Now, like I said, I've seen other people get other years and everything, but never as much as he did. So I'll have to give them that. You got to give credit where credit is due.